All right, guys, Ben Finley and the Akron Zips are coming into town to face the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Both are undefeated. Akron coming in at 1-0. Coastal Carolina at 2-0. Can we keep up this win streak? We have won one game. Ben Finley only has one incompletion. Can he keep up these crazy stats? All right, let's see. Inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Coastal Carolina shot to clears offense takes the field to start this game off. First down here for the offense. DBs locked up tight on the receivers. Looking for space, it's Washington. Into a mass of giant bodies, we'll call it a one yard gain to the 24. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. The give to the back, hard running there. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Ball spotted at the 29, here they come on third and short. Looking to throw for it. Quickly to the tight end. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the shot to clears will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out, and just like that, they'll have to give it up. And the returner will be dragged down. So the Akron Zip offense has its first opportunity of the day. Here comes the offense on first down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Just outstanding vision from the young freshman on that run. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Dances away from one. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And guys, this can be a great time to look for a big play on second and inches. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Tackled at the 45 after the five-yard play. It's enough for the first down. And the Zips are on the move. They'll leave it with him. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. False start. False start. Offense. Offense. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Offense walks through the line for play number seven of the drive. Fires to the big fella. Strikes first, delivers the punch, and works his way to 31. They're facing a third down. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Caught close to the marker, it's Norton. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Sometimes you see the offenses sort of settle in, find areas to probe after that first quarter. The Zips have it with a first and ten. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Akron! Number seven. An impressive, long, methodical 
meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays, but how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. Back to throw. It's Vasco. Got his man down the middle. Few things on offense as reliable as a tough power back as he plows his way ahead to the 33. That's why the good Lord invented tight ends, isn't it, David? Get a good pickup on first down, open up the entire play. And it just makes life so easy on quarterbacks. I mean, you've got these guys that are so gifted athletically that you can do everything with them. They're like overgrown wide receivers and now understanding zones and how to attack them. It's just unbelievable when you got these kind of big athletes. We got loose, almost housed, and finally dragged down at the 32. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open, quarterback's best friend, and this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism. The shot that clears will hustle through the line. Might as well give it to him again. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. First down, you know you always want to establish the run again. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. The snap sets up the throw. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown. Shot the clear. No doubt he quarterback was going to on that play down close by the goal line there was only one dude that could make that play and the quarterback found it and we're all square as he's set to kick it away and he takes this from inside the five bringing the heat he'll step out of bounds at the 16 and leave his offense with a long field in front the zips take over in Akron ready to get that offense to work Looking to throw, it's Fenley. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? From the gun, wants to pass. Snagged in the middle, it's Wilson. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. A seven yard pickup, it'll be second and three. The clock has stopped and we've reached the two minute warning before halftime. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll give it to the back. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run with the ball. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. Gets it out quickly. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. And that's a off from the shotgun. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. He got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. I'll tell you, QBs and receivers, they practice these out routes all week long. You've got to anticipate. You've got to be comfortable throwing it before he gets out of his break. And they executed it perfectly right there to pick up that first. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And the Zips come to the line with a new set of downs.
From the gun, the running back has it. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. They'll go to the ground. The Zips get enough for the first down. Well, they needed two yards for that first down. Running back doing just enough to make sure he keeps this drive alive. Right back to the well. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. Looking to throw. It's Fenley. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? We've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Zips! They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. With eight seconds to go in the half, wonder if they'll try to get a big play just to see what happens. They go to the ground. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Looking to throw on second down. He'll off one deep down the left side. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. Just about set for the second half kickoff. He'll call for the fair catch here. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. The give to the left side. He's got it out to the 37 after gaining five. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Quick release by the QB. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. From the gun, the ground game. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the Zips are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Moving into scoring territory at the 36 on first down. To the ground. He's got it again. They get him stopped at the 30, but not before he gets five yards. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. 
He'll pull it down. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Zips come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Oh my goodness, he's still moving. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. At the end of the quarter, guys, it's Akron holding the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both for trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. They'll run it. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Akron! He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They're lining up to boot it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Coastal Carolina has it. The shot to clear offense headed back to the field. Fast motion from the offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. They're setting up the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. A new set of downs after the completion. Wants to throw on first down. Finds the tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Gets it out fast. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute a Can anyone catch him? And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina! And QBs love their big tight ends, and especially guys that can do such great things after the catch. He catches it. Dang, Palmer, he looks like a daggum receiver after he catches the football. What a matchup nightmare, too, man. I mean, he's just too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. If I'm this QB, I'm looking that guy's way a lot more often than this one. The Zips take over in Akron, ready to get that offense to work. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense, too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays, those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute them. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. With the catch, it's Williams. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. First down for this offense. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And when the offense can run the football and you can feature a guy like this that will get more yards than his block that you can really depend on, hangs on to the football, like it makes offense super easy, especially down the stretch when you want to eat that clock and you want to possess the football. Just nice to have that kind of game. Brought down at the 48 after a gain of five. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. They'll try the run. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. They'll run it from the gun. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Wide out in motion. 
Quick pass on the jet motion. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. They have the lead in a one possession game, but they're thinking deliver the knockout blow, but this carries big time risk on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the grab well past the sticks. Touchdown, Zips! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Coastal Carolina takes over, and here comes the offense. He'll start this drive firing. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Comes out throwing on first down. The short hand, it's Washington. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. Clock's running and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. A strike downfield. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Looking to go up top on first down. Quickly complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And they spike it to stop the clock. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. On the run, it's Vasco. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught for the late touchdown. So how about this? Maybe we are set up for a finish. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball. Now, we got a one-possession game. we got our score. We did what we are supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Final seconds of the game. They can just take a knee and eliminate all of the drama. And you're exhaling, too, at this point, because this was a hard-fought football game, David. It could have gone either way. At the end, it was this team that made the most plays, made the fewest mistakes, and they've earned this victory formation. And by the way, there's nothing more frustrating in the world than playing defense when they take knees. Like, it's a helpless feeling. There's nothing you can do. You have so much rage inside, you just want to hit somebody so hard, and they're just taking a knee, and you just got to take the end. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, running back on the move. And not much picked up there, but that will do it for this one. It's one thing to execute early in the game. Tight ball game, right at the end. You need the clutch plays. These guys deliver. And you can't teach that gene. You have people that, that can focus in the moment or they can't. Great job by the team. Stay in focus, understanding it's a close battle. Win those one play at a time and then look up and then, heck, I got the win. Yeah, David, they just had ice in their veins. And you can tell there's tremendous leadership on this football team. Guys can step up and in the huddle, they can make sure that everybody else is focused to the task at hand in order to get the double. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse all right, Ben Finley had another great game. It was a squeaker. We won by seven points. But how did he do today? He went seven of 18, over 180 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Another almost perfect game from him. He also had 13 yards rushing. Our run game was a heck of a lot better today. We had over 130 yards rushing on the ground 
None of our wide receivers did much of anything except for one that had 72 yards, but really that's that's not all that many yards. Our defense stepped up today and held them to 